not the fit to do this job. I'm not man enough for this job. What I want you to do, Lord, today is just look at me. There must be someone stronger. There must be someone smarter. There must be someone younger. Or maybe even uh, someone uh, older. He said, you might be talking about my cousin because uh, he's real good with a sword. He's a real big guy, but Lord, not me. See, Gideon knew his lack of status. He knew that he and his people were not warriors. So basically, Gideon was saying, Lord, in all honesty, I just can't do it. Not only do I need you to look where I come from, but I need you to look at my own family. Because we are the weakest in our tribe. Yeah. And a lot of us, as I get ready to make my way to my seat today, a lot of us are just like Gideon. Because we try to make a whole bunch of excuses. We try to throw a curveball in our calling and some of us even got the nerve to tell God Lord I got this on my hand but if you give me until next week I'll get right to it some of us even tell him Lord I got that on my hand but if you give me until next month I'll get right to it and some even got the nerve to tell him Lord I just can't do it right now but if you give me just a little more time I'll get right to it and I'm gone now children but I want to tell somebody that you can't make no kind of excuse and that in this season God really don't care about your excuses but God said I want you to walk in your corner do I have a witness here? It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter your degree of education. But God said, oh, yeah. Oh, I need is a willing vessel. You don't got to be qualified, but just come on over here. You don't got to have a PhD, but just come on over here. You don't got to be a doctor, but just come on over here. God needs somebody that's willing to work for it. That's willing to work for it. And I'm not close today. I want to tell somebody that God don't call the qualified, but he qualifies the call. Do I have a witness there? God don't call the qualified, but he qualifies the call. Is there anybody? I feel like preaching now. Is, is, is there anybody? Oh! Come on, buddy. Oh! Is there anybody that can say today? Be what you want me to be, but I know somebody, I know somebody who chose me before my conception. He chose me before the foundation of the world. Is there anybody that can lift your hand and say, I thank God for my black sheep experience? Because if I would have never been down in my I would not know that he can pick me up, turn me around, place my feet on solid ground, put clapping in my hand, put her on in my, in my feet. 
Jesus. Shout! Have you got joy today? Shout! Anybody got joy? Shout! Down in your soul. I'm getting out of here, but I got one more reason why I know I'm anointed. I got one more reason why I don't mind being looked down on because can I just give y'all my reason? I'm a Baptist preacher. I got to give you my reason. One Friday. One Friday. One Friday. One Friday. Oh, one Friday. He died. I said, didn't he die? He died until the bird stopped singing. He died until the monkeys stopped swinging. He died until the dogs woo, 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 they stopped barking. He died until the fish stopped swimming. And they put him in a bar or two. Y'all know what he did, don't you? Do y'all know what he did? Do y'all know what he did? Do y'all know what he did? He stayed there. Oh, my God. Friday night. Oh, stay there. All day. Saturday. Oh, stay there. Oh, my God. Saturday night. But is there anybody here? That know he did stay there. Won't he, won't he, won't he make a way? 